One of my favorite applications on my iPad is LumaFusion. At 20 or so dollars, LumaFusion is much more affordable than Final Cut Pro, which goes for close to $300. Sure, it's not as full featured as Final Cut Pro, but it is a little more capable than iMovie. In fact, at least half of the videos that I make are with LumaFusion. While I do recommend LumaFusion without hesitation, I do experience kind of an annoyance with my iPad Pro that I kind of think might be a bug. And it's regarding how LumaFusion uses storage. Most of us working on an iPad have to be pretty storage conscious because it's limited. I will go into the Files app and I'll see how much storage is available. A more advanced way is to go into the settings and check the storage there. And there you'll see a list of applications that are using storage on your iPad. One day, despite having relatively few files on my iPad, I was running short on storage. So I looked into the settings that particular day. LumaFusion was using 75 gigabytes of storage, and that's a lot. You can actually click in deeper and see what files LumaFusion is storing. And it turns out that LumaFusion often stores and cache files that, well, you don't need anymore. These were actually files for media projects that I didn't even have on the device anymore. While LumaFusion does have an auto cache cleanup feature, it really doesn't seem to work for me at least 100% of the time. So here's how you clean out your cache. Open LumaFusion and click the gear icon to get into the settings and then click this cleanup tab here. For me, the big offender is almost always the unused cached media and this particular case, it's over 40 gigabytes of space. As much as I like LumaFusion, this feels a lot like a bug. It just doesn't seem it should be this way. It's very un iPad OS like. So let me know what you think. That's it for this video. I hope it's been helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know and we'll see you in the next one.